back to our revival service tonight. We're going to sing together from Spook 353, Revive Us Again. Amen. That is our prayer tonight, and we've got a very good start for that from the
choir and orchestra, they started with the Vicar of Bray by H. Charles, then Joy in the Camp by J. Gaither, and then the duet Redeeming Love by William Gaither. We thank you, we say thank you so much to the choir and the orchestra for that. May the Lord bless them. It's our turn to blend our voices. We're singing 353, three, Revive Us Again. Let's take verses 1, 2, and 4. Verses 1, 2, and 4. And Brother Moiwa will be our song leader for tonight. Praise the O Lord for Next song is Send the Light. Send the Light spoke three, four, five. Spoke three, four, five, send the light. There's a call, comes ringing over the restless wave, send the light. There are souls to rescue, souls to save, send the light. Next song is hymn number 517. 517 from the same hymn book spoke. More about Jesus. Verses 1, 2, and 4 after the tune is given.
our next song is hymn number 488 from the same hymn book, 488. Bring your vessels, not a few. Bring your vessels, not a few. Verses 1, 2, 3, we shall sing through the three verses of this song after the tune is given. for good singing. Uh, song before prayer is hymn number 21. The same hymn book um, spoke at Calvary. Years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified. Knowing not it was for me he died at Calvary. We shall have verses 1, 2, and 4. 4 we shall render standing to be led in prayer. <laughs>
as we remain standing with our eyes closed, Brother Godwin Jimmy will come forward to lead us in congregational prayer. Our Lord, we ask that today we shall experience Calvary. Amen. There will be liberty yet today. Amen. Our souls shall find liberty, Lord. Amen. Mercy will be poured out tonight. Amen. And many lives will be changed. Amen. Names will be written in your book, Lord. Amen. That's why we came. Amen. And Lord, you will do it for us. Amen. All glory and praise. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We will listen to the French delegate to give us testimony for the first part. And that is going to happen after we've heard a congregational song from Spoke, hymn number 185. They should please get mic ready for them, two mics, I think, one for the interpreter and one for um, the person to give testimony. Since this is going to be interpreted, can we, I don't even think they can understand what I'm saying, but maybe our interpreter will let them know that the, um, testimony, the testimony should be straight to the point. Two minutes, 120 seconds. And as many as can get in, maybe three or two of them, and then we have the first special glory medley um, from the choir. And then they will continue with the um, testimony um, service. Of course, the second half of the testimony service, which is coming after the choir has given their song, is not only meant for them. Perhaps some people just think that once they have given us a song and they are testifying, then everything is reserved for them. There's nothing like that. We want the mic to be brought down for those people too who would like to join in the um, second half of that testimony. Let's take now, spoke 185. It is truly wonderful. Let's take verses 1 and 6. Just two verses, verses 1 and 6, and then two minutes testimony from our French delegates to begin with. But Amuiwa will come forward to lead us. I thank God for bringing me to the Apostolic Church. J'étais malade quand je suis arrivé. On m'a dit d'oublier ma maladie, de dire à Jésus de me sauver. J'ai prié, Jésus m'a sauvé. I came with, I came very sick, but I was told to forget about my sickness and to ask for uh, forgiveness of sins, which God did for me. Il m'a sanctifié. He, sanct he saved me, sanctified me. Il m'a baptisé. And baptized me with the Holy Spirit. Depuis ce temps, Jésus me conduit. And since then, God has been leading me. Moi, je m'étais installé au Bénin. Dieu a vu que ce n'est pas son plan pour moi. Il m'a enlevé du Bénin. Il m'a amené en France. I, I was in Bénin, Republic of Bénin, but uh, God told me to go to France. Et depuis que je suis en France, il me conduit 
dans tout ce qui est à moi-même et ce qui est pour le travail de Dieu, Dieu me m'aide, il me conduit, remerciez-le pour moi. And mm. since since uh, since my stay in France, God has been leading me and guiding me in everything with church church wise and in my own business, God has been leading me. C'est vrai, la France est très difficile au point de vue spirituel, mais nous avons besoin de vos prières parce que c'est un pays qui n'accepte pas l'évangile. Mais nous savons que si Dieu nous a envoyé là-bas, c'est que il a des âmes là-bas qu'il veut sauver, qu'il yeah. vienne le faire. Amen. Mm. Yeah, it's very difficult to do evangelism in France because people are just not uh, um, um, accepting. But uh, I know that for God to have taken me there, definitely there are some souls that God is leading me to, and God Almighty will save them. Priez pour nous pour que les âmes que Jésus a réservées en France qui puissent les sauver. Amen. Amen. Pray for us that uh, the, the souls that have been reserved for his salvation in France will, will get in touch with us. Amen. Je vous remercie, je Seigneur. Uh, th I thank God. Je voudrais que vous louiez le Seigneur avec moi. Uh, pray God with me. Parce que arrivé à cet évangile, le Seigneur m'a sauvé. Yeah, I accepted the gospel. He, God saved me. Il m'a sanctifié. He sanctified me. Et il m'a baptisé du Saint-Esprit. And he gave me the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Dans cet évangile, le Seigneur m'a donné une femme merveilleuse et des enfants merveilleux. In this gospel, God gave me a wonderful wife and children, wonderful children. Et je suis très heureux, le, le Seigneur pour moi. And I'm very happy, praise God with me. Amen. Je remercie le Seigneur Jésus qui m'a amené à lui-même. I thank God for bringing me to himself. J'ai confessé mes péchés, il m'a sauvé, sanctifié, baptisé par son Esprit Saint. I confessed my sins, he saved me, sanctified me and gave me the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Depuis ce moment, je ne suis plus seul. Uh, since that time, I'm no longer alone. La, quand je suis arrivé à ce camp l'année passée, il y avait un problème dans mon cœur et je priais dessus. Uh, when I arrived uh, to camp meeting last year, I had a problem that I really prayed about. Donc, notre maison qu'on a acheté, c'était vendu comme une maison avec comble aménageable. Um, the, the, the house we bought, which we thought was... Um, avec maison à comble aménageable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which was... <laughs> mais, mais il, il s'est fait oh, que oh, ce n'est pas vrai. Aménageable. Il s'est fait que ce n'est pas vrai. Uh, so, yeah, uh, sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it was fake, right? Um, it was something that uh, we, we bought a house that was, that was not, that was not well built. No, not well built. Okay. No. Yeah. Et finalement, on est, on, on est allé au tribunal, le, le, le tribunal nous a donné raison, mais la partie adverse a fait appel, de huh? la, de, a fait appel du jugement. Okay, um, we, we had to, we, did you go to go court? To tribunal. The tribunal for and, it. And, we, they give and, us and then they gave us the judgment. Judgment. Uh, and in, we, we, they we judged gain. in our favor. But the, the, the old owner of our house um, take, uh, have, uh, take no. And uh, he asked that uh, he don't have uh, money to pay. But after three days, after the judgment, we have uh, his... Uh, Um, build in our house. He, he, he's built. Trois jours avant le jugement, I nous avons le, le, the judgment, nous avons la fille de paye de la personne à la maison. We had to pay to the people in the house. Nous avons la fiche de paye. Dieu so nous a envoyé la fille de paye, la we fille de paye de la personne à la maison. Yeah, we had the pay sleeves at the house. La, toi, build. The they pay the bills, their salary. Trois jours avant. Oh, la, dans le jugement, le, le, la partie qui disait que non, ils n'ont pas les moyens, Dieu nous a prouvé maintenant que regardez, ils ont moyens, ils travaillent. Remercie le Seigneur Jésus pour moi, qui est avec moi et qui fait tout en sa faveur pour nous. I, I showed them the pay slips and then the judgment was in our favor. And because they said they have money to pay, because they saw the pay slips. Je veux remercier Dieu pour tout ce qu'il a fait pour moi. Thank God for me. Et je sais qu'aujourd'hui il va faire de grandes choses pour chacun de nous et je voudrais le remercier pour cela. Amen. I, I just want to praise God for helping me and bringing me here. Amen.
I want to thank God for bringing me to camp meeting this year, and I also want to thank God for saving my soul, for sanctifying me and filling me with his Holy Spirit. I have a special testimony this year which I want to share with you. And a few weeks ago, I was contemplating within myself whether I was ready to make it, like if the rupture would happen right now, if I will go to heaven or if I will go to hell. So I prayed to Jesus to show me that he is still with me and that I will really make heaven. And a few days later, I was about to sleep, and then the Lord showed me a vision. He just brought me into heaven. It was just like a miracle. I just found myself in heaven, and I was, wow, I had made it. I was so happy. And heaven is just such a beautiful place. And that is why I wanted to share this testimony with you. And I was just in heaven, and when I just saw everything, everything was made out of gold, but it is just indescribable, like you can't describe it. Even the houses, they were so big, and you could just see everything. There, were, there was nothing like, like how, when you are in a street, then you just see one house, and there is an end, but there was no end, and I just felt so free, and... Then I just looked where I could stay because I thought that everything is already full, so I wanted to go back. But just as I wanted to go back, then Jesus came from behind, he touched me, and he said, come my daughter, and he showed me where I was, and he showed me the throne, and I was so surprised, I was just speechless, and I just wanted to share this testimony with you that we should really strive to make heaven our home because it is a beautiful place, it is just indescribable. I also want to thank God for his healing power. Just also some weeks ago, I just collapsed, just somehow on the stairs. I just collapsed. I didn't know what happened. It's only God who knows. But I was there on the stairs, and I almost couldn't shout for somebody to come and help me. So with my last strength, I just shouted on the name of Jesus. Amen. I shouted to my parents. They came and they took me. They prayed for me. They anointed me in the name of Jesus Christ. And then Jesus raised me up again. Amen. And I also want to thank God for a last testimony. Because, uh, <laughs> yes, because on Thursday we were about to travel and just on Wednesday the devil wanted to strike me and I just fell down six ste steps from the stairs. I just slided down. But I thank God that he protected me and that nothing happened. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for saving my soul. I thank God for sanctifying me. I thank God for healing, for filling me with the power of Holy Ghost and fire. I, in fact, I'm not worthy of all the good things the Lord is doing to me. Uh, the Lord loved me so much, more than almost everybody. The Lord is so merciful to me. The Lord is healing all my diseases. And, uh, and there's a lot of things which God has done for me, but the very few that happened recently, I just want to say, a few months ago, I was sick. Uh, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I, I, still, I was still sick, and then I was talking of that one. Then my ear blocked. I couldn't hear with one ear. So I was thinking, camp meeting is around. It's always the case. When the camp meeting is around, a lot of things are still happening. And before that, my daughter has just testified. It wasn't easy time, but God uh, saw us through. Praise God. And not only that, there was a, a, a testimony which I want to give. Uh, when I thought, when the blessings of God flooded my way, and I was thinking, oh, everything is good, everything is right, the devil was not happy. Well, I thought I have everything under control, but because of one little thing, I, 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 I happened to get into a, a very big uh, 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 debt. I, I said, God, I don't want to be a debtor. I don't like this. So I've been praying for this for a long time. Do you know God answered this prayer, but in a mysterious way? Uh, something started happening in my life which I didn't expect. Let me just say just one of them. I happened to get accident. I was with bicycle riding. I got accident. Through that accident, uh, it, it wasn't easy. Then I, was, I went to the doctor. Everything was gone then. A man just came and said, from window, from where? And he shouted, you have to take it up. You have to take it. I saw it. You have to take it up. Then 
Later on, the man came to me and then showed me, give me a, 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 an address, a doctor where I have to go do this and do that. Through the accident, I got a lot of money. Amen. And uh, God paid my debt. Amen. So uh, it, is, it is marvelous. So that's why I say it's a mysterious God. So I don't know how to thank God. God is so merciful. Praise God with me. I want to see him at heaven at last in Jesus' name. university days I just met myself in the church as a girl from a Muslim home. I want to thank God that after my graduation I met my husband and I found myself in apostolic faith. I thank God for the salvation and sanctification. I thank God for the baptism of Holy Ghost and fire. Father, it is a privilege for me because I know God loves me and I'm special. Last year we were meant to be here but the devil came up with his thing and I gave the devil the chance and this year he wanted to do the same thing when my husband told me he wasn't coming to this camp and I said to him if you are not coming we are not coming after days I sat and I remembered last year once we put on the screen to watch everything going on my children will start from morning to night once they wake up in the morning mommy why mommy why did you do this mommy why did you do that because we could have been here if I had not said no to that camp and I said to myself, oh, God forgive me. I just sat watching one day and God just reminded me that these children, their salvation is in your hand. From this age, whatsoever you give them now is what they will leave forever until you lead them to me. It reminded me how I came to have these children. Apart from the testimonies I've given about them not being essays, God reminded me. When I was in my university days, I w I've always been a plump girl. I wanted to be slim, I wanted to be fit. I started taking a Chinese tea. After a while, I started having problems with my period. The doctor told me, my mom told me to the hospital, he said it's hyperlatin. But without no period, even till today, I have the first child, the second child, the third and the fourth on my knees. That is, means something is happening in this children's life. They are here for God because I asked for them on the altar because I know what is going on in me. And once I kneel down and I cry to God, he gives them to me. So why will I take that privilege from them? And he even strengthened my faith. I thank God for this salvation. And I pray to the end I will go to Christ for him. I want to thank God for my mom. Yeah, you've been, you've been standing. Thank you, Sister Florence. No, no, Just keep standing, keep standing. You give your testimony, and that will be the last one for tonight. Then we listen to the last special before we have Brother Owen as our preacher tonight. I want to thank God for helping me at school and for my mocks. Even though some of the grades, I should have got better, but he still helped me.
Asina was wondering at eventide. His tempter was watching close by at his side. In his heart raged a battle for right against wrong. But hack from the church, he hears the sweet song. He stopped and listened to every sweet chord. He remembered the time he once loved the Lord. Come on, says the tempter, come on with the throng. But hack from the church. Again swells the song. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 1. You're reading verses 26 and 31. And then St. Mark's Gospel chapter 10. You're reading verse 46. Genesis 1, 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeped upon the earth. 31. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Mark 10, verse 46. And they came to Jericho. And he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great number of people, blind by Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side baking. Now you may wonder, what has the first scripture that I read has to do with this? Tonight, we want to see man at his, his best. And then man at his most deplorable state. And then Jesus stepping on the scene. Amen. Amen. Today there's going to be joy in the camp. Amen. 
So let us sit up because God has a message for us. Amen. We want to see Jesus as our passionate Savior. Yes. Yes. Jesus as a Savior that understands. In Genesis, we are made to understand how man was made in the very image of God, in his likeness. It couldn't have been better than that. And how God gave man dominion over every other thing that he has created. And when God looked over what he has created, he found it to be very good. All right. All right. Move from there now to that highway. That same man becoming blind and then sitting by the wayside baking. How bad could it be? That means between the, what, uh, the first scripture and the second one, uh, something uh, terribly had gone wrong. Yes. Something that we can see in a spiritual catastrophe. Yes. Seen as script in. Man has lost favor with God. Because sins deprive man of God's favor. But we thank God for Jesus. Amen. The one uh, that could be touched uh, with the feelings of our infirmity. Amen. The one that understands. Uh, the one that cares. Uh, the one that loves us enough Amen. to take our place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we thank God for Jesus. Amen. Let's see how he stepped uh, 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 on the scene uh, with respect uh, to what happened with this blind man. And so I'm reading uh, uh, St. Matthew Gospel, chapter 10, verse 6, 47 to 49. And uh, when he heard uh, that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. And many charge uh, him that uh, he should hold uh, his peace. But he cried at the more a great deal. Thou son of David, Amen. have mercy on me. Amen. And Jesus stood still. Amen. And what? Jesus stood still. Amen. You know, from the country that I come from, when you are a disabled person, you are in big trouble. When you are a, a blind, children could mock at you. They can push you around. But in this instant, this blind man, he heard that Jesus is passing by. He believed in Jesus. When he heard this, he began to cry. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more, a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. He cried the more. Why? Because uh, the Bible makes it very clear that the eyes of the Lord uh, are upon the righteous and uh, his ears uh, are open uh, unto their cry. Yes. As he was crying, uh, oh, he got into the ear of Jesus Amen. and touched his tender heart. Amen. The one that all things were created by him uh, and for him. Uh, Heard the crying of a blind man and stood still. Amen. Then he was passing by. Today he's here. Amen. I'm saying he's here Amen. to listen to our crying. Amen. So we have real opportunity tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, he's not a man that can fail us. No. He's not a man that says one thing and I uh, mean uh, do something else. No. He is, the Bible is very clear. That the, uh, the ears of the Lord uh, are widely opened. Uh, so tonight uh, is the night that we must cry for help. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The blind Bartimaeus cried on that day. And his life was never the same again. Amen. And so Jesus stood still uh, and commanded him uh, to be called. Uh, and they called the blind man uh, saying unto him, uh, be of good comfort. Amen. Now what does that tell us? They knew. They knew that if only 
The blind man, the Jesus will hear the crying of this man that his condition, condition will change. And that is why they are telling him now to be of good care. Yeah. Yeah. Do you wonder why the devil is fighting against you? Do you wonder why uh, the combined forces of hell is fighting against you? Even your flesh is fighting against you? Because uh, they know that if only we could make contact uh, with the one uh, that has uh, the power of life and death, oh, yes. that our condition will change. Oh, yes. And so that is why the world is waging war against us. That is why even our flesh uh, is waging war against us. Oh, one would have thought that uh, as a blind man crying, uh, that this man could have gotten some assistance from them, uh, that they would have helped him uh, to see Jesus, but they were doing everything to discourage him. But he had faith in God. Amen. But nothing could stand on this way. Today, God is ready to bulldoze uh, all those obstacles on your way. Amen. And so all we need to do is to say, Lord, uh, tonight is my night. Amen. Amen. He has never known to fail. He will not fail you. Amen. He will never fail you. Amen. He's interested in you. Amen. He loves you. Amen. He cares for you. Amen. He has the power Amen. in heaven and in earth Amen. to change your condition tonight. Amen. Blind Bartimaeus was not the first person that Jesus stood still for. If we look at... Um, 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 if we look at uh, Acts chapter 7, verse 55, uh, you'll see when Stephen, that man of God, when the stone were dropping on him, oh, because he took a stand for God, uh, they were, maybe the stone was hitting his head, uh, maybe his rib uh, all over his body, but he had faith in God. Uh, he looked straight into heaven. Right. And what did he see? Him that normally sit by the right hand of his father was standing. To honor his faith. Oh, think about uh, the Hebrew children, uh, those three Hebrew children, because they took a stand for God uh, inside uh, the burning furnace. He was right there with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just made sure uh, the blind Bartimaeus, uh, the Stephen, uh, and the Hebrew children, some 11 years ago, 11 years ago, he stood still for me. Yeah. Yes, he did it. What happened? Now uh, I have been sentenced to death. Oh, the process uh, of my execution have started. Oh, they have tied my hand. Uh, they have tied my leg. Uh, they have locked up my mouth. I'm talking about just 11 years ago. And then they sent for knife and, and bucket. And then the one they asked to bring the knife and bucket uh, said, no, that I was to die at midnight. It was not midnight. And then their leader shouted, get me the knife and the bucket. We can't keep him till midnight anymore. He's a dead man. But the apostolic faith worldwide oh, yeah. was shaking the throne of God. Oh, yeah. And God heard their prayer. Yeah. And Jesus stood still. Yeah. And annulled my death sentence. Yeah. And because he did that, I could stand before you today. Yeah. Listen, we have a big God, God that is able to do what nobody else can do. He said, God, uh, that is able to replicate today what he has done in the past. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's going to be joy in the camp tonight. Because yes. the spirit of the Lord God uh, is, uh, is upon me because uh, the Lord uh, had anointed me to preach uh, good tidings uh, unto the meek. Uh, he had sent me uh, to bind uh, up the, the broken hearted, to proclaim uh, liberty Amen. to the captive. And the opening of the prison uh, to them uh, that are bound. Are you in captivity tonight? Has sins grip you, lock you up uh, tonight? Amen. Jesus is here Amen. to lose you, Amen. to set you free. Amen. He said, Come, uh, let us reason together. Amen. Are you ready to reason with him? Uh, oh, could you imagine? The creator of heaven and earth wants to reason with you and I. Who are we? Because he cares about us. Oh, yes. He said, every single son of hay on our head uh, is numbered by him uh, and he cannot allow one of them uh, to drop without his knowledge. Yes. So tonight he's calling. Yeah. Are you ready to have good encounter with him? Yes. He's interested with us to have good encounter with him tonight. Yes. So would you step out in faith uh, and say, Jesus, here am I. 
Tonight he wants to do something. He wants to set you free. Today is a night of liberty, a night of freedom, a night of victory. He is calling. Step out in faith. And God is will change the entire course of your life today. Shall we rise up and sing? save soul. Come down and sanctify. Come and fill us with your spirit. Come and set the captive free. Come and deliver. Let there be joy in our camp. Let there be joy in this camp. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.